Hello, in this film I'm going to show you how to turn crisp packets and other rubbish into printing plates. A lot of pack food packaging is made from PP and PET plastic coated with aluminium foil. This is not currently recyclable. However, we can reuse it and turn it into printing plates. Lay your crisp packet on an old towel and cover it with a piece of greaseproof paper to protect the iron. Then have the iron on a fairly medium setting and don't press too hard because you want to give it space for the, the plastic to bubble up. The bubbles will puff out on the side away from the heat so if you turn it over and iron it from the other side as well you're going to get bubbles facing up and facing down and that gives you a really interesting texture when you come to print it. They use different types of plastic for the metallised film and some will make bubbles and some will wrinkle in lines so it's a really good idea to have a little practice before you start so you know what to expect. It's fun making the textures by melting but you really want to have a bit of control over what happens if you're going to design printing plates. So one way of doing this is to stick aluminium tape onto the, onto the plastic. Uh, because the aluminium doesn't react to heat, it will hold everything flat. And wherever you put the tape, you'll, you won't get any wrinkles. Sometimes it can be quite tricky to get the tape off its backing. A handy tip is to poke a needle in the side and it, that makes it much easier to separate it. And it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. Now I'm going to shrink this foil with a heat gun. Uh, it's a bit hotter than an iron and it works better on some plastics. The other, the other real advantage of it is you can see what's happening so you can shrink it just as much as you want to. Now it's wrinkled, you can see where, how the tape has kept it flat. Um, the heat gun tends to leave it a bit crinkly so I'm gonna just press it with the iron makes it easier to ink up and print. As well as creating flat areas, you can use a soldering iron to, to burn little holes in the plastic. You can make different sized holes and you can also burn other shapes in it too. Another interesting thing you can do is fuse layers of the plastic together. This means you can change the shape of your plate, or you can collage different textures on top of it and patchwork pieces together. It usually works better to stick the shiny side to the shiny side. Uh, just a little bit of heat will, will fuse them together. So, starting with an old crisp bag and combining shrinking, sticky tape, soldering iron and fusing, you can build up some really interesting plates with different textures on. And here are a few examples of some that I've made. These have all been printed as intaglio on an etching press. If this film about crisp packets has inspired you, you might like to have a look at some of the other printmaking techniques on the Curious Printmaker blog. The website address is at the end of this film.